What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jessie and I'm back again with another video and an update in the life. I have no experience kidding season and I have kids on the ground and I want to talk to you about how to manage more goat feed and rotational grazing which method would you be interested in trying because I've tried out a little bit of everything I've tried cut and carry method I've tried the hay and silage also rotational grazing where I use the larger side of the herd like the adults as you can see here so I put them out on pasture and rotate them like every other day on different pastures. So I give them I give them enough time to use utilize the space and I don't overgraze my pasture because I want to maintain the forage. And yeah, pretty much that's what it is. You know we're trying to find ways to make it work i've thought about multiple different styles of farming um my solution is to keep the kids in keep the kids in and then when you keep the kids in you cut and carry because i couldn't even believe at three weeks old this little baby goats have started eating and they're picking grass and green and all of that so I've given them a little bit of green a little bit of fresh grass and water so basically that's what I'm doing with my goats and I've also tried different dewormers also that we'll get into in another video but I just believe in grazing naturally and having the forage for your animals. I just believe in having all of this land to use and to utilize and you know just to utilize the whole of the entire land and thing. So we're currently into 2021. I can't say I know everything about goats, but I'm learning along the way and I can't seem to really say, you know, I've had a bad experience. I've had a little bit of both and, you know, you're going into this business, you're going to go, you're going to come into some problems every now and then. That's natural. So that doesn't really affect me or this um you know i lose motivation to to come in and do this farming thing actually i want to get more land believe it or not yes i am trying to go for at least 300 acres but this is what i'll do gradually along the way because in my area there's a lot of vacant land right next door to me which is great so that is the plan the plan is to get more goats which i have gotten more goats actually i am now at a herd of 38 goats but i didn't buy all of them some of them i bought some of them were born so that's the total tally currently 38 heads of goats and in about a year i should probably reach 80 heads of goats with the ones that I currently own but I'm still buying goats because I believe in the graded goats I don't know I've personally I have, I've owned Nubians and had a problem with the Nubian type of goats the worm load is very crazy I've had a purebred boar the rams that I have are purebred so I have one purebred ram one purebred boar ram and i have two graded ram one with nubian and boar and another one i'm not so sure what he's mixed with but he's very short um that's 
I will I will probably like show you my ramps in a in a, another video probably or in this video. So yeah, something is wrong with my phone. So you guys, you have to save me. I'm using my iPhone to record on a daily basis, and I have so many goats right now. I have literally no time, you guys. So this is why I have been posting as much, and I have a lot of old videos too that i should have been uploaded from last year but they've now gone on to next to 2021 so you have to see with me you know um yes yeah, so take a look at my my new goats that is siva everybody knows siva and Cisco, but these are my new goats my neighbor he decided to go out of the goat herding business and another friend of mine he gave me some goats to purchase so that is also very good but as you can see my place isn't fenced so I have to basically try them because my property isn't fenced right now so i have to tie my goats i don't know about you and thing but i have to tie my goats until i can afford to do the fencing i was thinking about doing electrical fencing but it's been raining so much and i i'm in fear i'm in complete fear of being electrocuted i don't know i think that will happen because sometimes the pastures flood out because i live right on the riverbed and when it rains a lot, the river comes down and it, the, it, the water flow is very heavy and the current is very strong. And sometimes the pastures are flooded. So I was thinking about doing electric fencing. Maybe when the whole land is like cleaned up and it's like more developed and I get all of these trees and shrubs out of the pasture because really and truly, I'm not using a lot of land now. I'm probably using about six acres, probably eight acres on the land now. But you guys, it is approximately 50 acres I'm using. Not using, I'm on 50 acres. And I haven't, if I told you I used all of it or been all over the property, I've been lying. I still, every day, it's new to me. When I discover other parts of the farm, it's all new to me. It's all crazy, you know. Yeah, so you know, as the years as the year progresses, I'm feeling a lot better, you know, I'm looking a lot better. You know, it's called happiness. And that's what it is. I'm very happy raising my goats. I'm an introvert. I enjoy being on all of this land with just me and my goats yes it's crazy but this is what i enjoy doing so when persons come and say oh you, you're so pretty you could be doing something else i am quite comfortable with my farming thank you very much and yes i know i'm attractive and i i could do other things but this is what is working for me and they said if it's not fixed don't if, if it's not broken don't fix it right so those so just leave me be and let me enjoy my life. <laughs> All right. Just let me enjoy my life. And I'm going to show you some snippets of my new born kids that just born like over the Christmas in December. I had like back to back to back to back. But um, my neighbor who, who I bought his herd, I bought like 14 goats from him. Um, his goats, it was raining a lot and thing, and he never really had the infrastructure for them and stuff. So, you know, he just, he gave up on it. And I said, you sure, man, just try. I tried to talk him out of it, but he's like, I'm done. I'm done. You guys, you're going to have trials. You're going to have tribulations. There are going to be times when you even ask yourself, are you even crazy to do this? But trust me. There is a demand for goats. You can milk them. You can sell them as meat. You can sell the kids. 
You can even have your service book. Your service book could be a nice, you get a good RAM. Invest into a good RAM and you will see the results. The results are insane. All right, so it's one year now. I've been doing this and I may have, you know, kept an eye out for land and stuff, but you know, when you just, I don't know, when you're doing what you're doing and you're passionate about it, everything just falls into place. I don't know about you or what, but for me, when I am into something, I, I get obsessed over it and fixated. So it's like, when I was doing the, the clothes store, I had a lot of opportunities from the clothes store. Just like when I'm doing the goat thing now, I got a lot of opportunities. I found land. I found some really nice, good deals on goats. And, you know, it's just, it just works for me. You know what I mean? And I'm sorry that I never did this like a long time ago. Because trust me, I would have been like since 2015, if I had, when I started my store, if I was doing this, oh my God. You couldn't, you couldn't compete with me right now. I'd be like Queen Curry. You get what I'm saying? So, so basically, I'm, I'm doing it and taking my time doing it. And it is, it is working for me, you guys. I haven't had any problems with my kids. I haven't had any problems with my herd. Um, my goats you know occasionally get a little bit of the scours a little bit of the heavy worm load that is natural you just have to have medication on hand to deal with it and know what you're doing i have been raising dogs for almost five years now well probably more since 2015 i've been raising pomeranian dogs it is absolutely the same thing if not probably the same exact thing but it's just different i don't even know to explain but you have to deworm your dogs you have to ensure that they're okay so if you breed animals so if you're a dog breeder or you breed any type of anything that you breed you will naturally can do like farming livestock you can do it trust me it is like second nature it becomes natural you know and I, I love this. I love the natural, fresh, clean air, all of this grass. I love all the forage that's going on. I like being in the sun. I like being next to nature. I like being next to God. I don't know. I'm not a city girl. I was originally a country girl. And my mother moved me to the city and then... Uh, uh, then everything just you know but trust me this is really what i want to do and i should never have to really explain to anybody what i want to do but you know come on guys stop trying to slide in my dm and saying oh you know if you were my girl i would have i would have pampered you and massaged you yes i can get pampered and massaged anytime thank you but that's not really my style i'm not a housewife type of girl stay home and do nothing i am a go-getter so i like to go for mine and i don't like nobody telling me i can't get that when i know i can get that especially when i can get it on my own this is just the mentality i have from probably being an only child i don't know i'm an only child so probably that's what it is but yeah guys that's the update <laughs> so stay tuned and yeah thanks for watching bye remember to like subscribe and share to my channel okay bye 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 <laughs> Thank you.
Ya sabe ni papas. Oh, my God. 